Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so we are setting ourselves up for a successful week with meal prep. I actually do a meal prep every Monday. I do a breakfast, a lunch, and a snack or a dessert and today's meal prep I'm so excited about. So if you're excited for three new healthy recipes, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because like I said, I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all of today's recipes, actually all of my recipes in general. I'll also have nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free, supportive, amazing Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's jump into meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making breakfast burrito casserole. I have heard that this is amazing. I love a good breakfast burrito, and in the casserole form, it's so much easier to have it prepped and ready to go for the week. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need salsa of your choice, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, milk, lots of eggs, salt and pepper, a couple of bell peppers, any color will do. I have an orange and a yellow, low carb tortillas, light shredded cheese, an onion, and then any sausage or really protein of your choice. I have two of my Gilbert's Caprese sausages left. I'm going to go ahead and use those, but like I said, you can use any source of protein. I forgot to mention, you also are going to need shredded hash browns. Now these are optional, but I am definitely going to add them. So to a large skillet, I added my chopped up sausage, onion, and my two bell peppers, some salt and pepper, and we're going to let these cook down. Now my chicken sausages are already cooked. If you're using uncooked meat, just make sure your meat is cooked thoroughly, but I want the veggies all softened. And while this is cooking, let's put together the Greek yogurt mixture. So to a good size bowl, we're going to crack in 12 whole eggs. And then I'm going to add in half of a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, one cup of milk, and then you can season with salt and pepper and whisk until combined. Now we're ready to assemble our casserole. So I have a nine by 13 baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add 15 ounces of frozen shredded hash browns. Just kind of spread those out in the bottom. I also have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And then I'm going to add half of my cooked sausage pepper onion mixture right on top of those hash browns. We need two cups of cheese total. This bag is two cups. So I'm going to add one cup or half of the cheese on top. And then I'm going to add half of a cup of salsa. I'm just going to kind of drop that on top of the cheese. Spread that out. And then I'm going to pour on half of the eggs. And then we need five tortillas total. So we're just going to spread those on top. I'm just breaking them into smaller pieces. You can cut these up into one inch pieces, whatever your preference is. And we're going to just press that down. You wanna firmly press those tortillas into the casserole. And then I'm adding the other half of the sausage bell pepper onion mixture, the rest of my eggs, and then top it with your remaining cup of cheese. We're going to cover it tightly with some foil and we're going to bake it covered for 35 minutes. And then we'll remove the foil for an additional 20 to 25. You just wanna make sure your eggs are completely set. Look at this breakfast burrito casserole. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely incredible. It smells so good. You can top this. I'm going to add some green onions on top once it's cooled. You could add avocado, sour cream, anything you would put on a breakfast burrito, maybe some extra salsa, but I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. 
For my lunches this week, I'm making grinder salad. So this is like the grinder sandwiches in salad. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving salads. It's still 100 degrees here. So this is going to be a great way to get in protein and veggies for the week. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need romaine lettuce. I mean, you can really use any lettuce that you would like. Provolone cheese. For the meats, I'm using the applewood smoked salami and ham. The recipe calls for mortadella. I think that's another type of meat. I don't know what that is. So I'm just using these two, but again, you can add whatever meat you would like. You'll also need some red onion. You can make homemade Italian dressing. I'm gonna use the Olive Garden Light. I'm so excited to try this. I've heard really good things about it. So I think it's going to pair perfectly with this salad. Some cherry tomato, pepperoncinis, or banana peppers. Roasted red peppers, just make sure they're not in oil, and some light mayo. So I'm going to get everything chopped up. Romaine lettuce, my red onion, my meat, my cherry tomatoes. I think I might even need to dice up the roasted red bell peppers. So I have my chopped up lettuce, my salami, ham, red onions. I did save some of the brine from the roasted red peppers, my banana peppers, my diced in half tomatoes, my roasted red pepper sliced into slices. I have one slice of provolone cheese. So if you want to make your own Italian dressing, let me show you what you'll need. So you'll need some light mayonnaise. I'm not gonna be using this since I'm not making my own. Like I mentioned, I'm just going to use the Olive Garden. And that's what you'll need, the brine of the roasted red peppers and some brine of your banana peppers or pepperoncinis. Salt and pepper, mix that together, you have Italian dressing. But like I said, Olive Garden is something I've been wanting to try. So I'm just going to use that. So let me put together a salad. I'll actually have this for lunch today. That way you can see what the whole grinder salad in completion looks like. So we're going to just add some lettuce to our bowl. And then we're going to add some cut up tomatoes down the center of the bowl. Then we're going to add some ham down the side of the tomatoes and some of our salami also down the opposite side of the tomatoes. And then we're going to add some red onion down the side of the ham, roasted red peppers right next to the salami, as well as our slice of provolone cheese. And then next to the onion, I'm adding my banana peppers. So here's what the salad looks like. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I'll just add my dressing when I go to eat it for lunch today. But like I said, it's a great way to get in protein and lots of vegetables. And if you love a grinder sandwich, this is the perfect alternative. You just get to skip all the carbs in the bread. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. So I will pop up here on the screen what I thought of the salad since I I'm going to have it for lunch today, as well as all of the macros points, all the information for you. And then I'm just going to package up all of these ingredients so that they're ready to go. And then I'll just assemble my salads as I go throughout the week. For dessert this week, I'm making no-bake strawberry cheesecake. Troy's very excited for this. So let me show you what you'll need. I'm going to make oat flour just using rolled oats and throw it in a food processor. You want to make sure that you're using an alternative flour, maybe almond flour or oat flour because we're not baking this and you do have to cook traditional flour. So I'm going to make oat flour. I am using whipped topping instead of making cream cheese with heavy instead of making whipped cream with heavy cream. Again, saving on points, fat, and calories, so I picked up some fat-free whipped cream. You'll need fresh strawberries, light butter, sweetener of your choice. Of course, I'm using allulose. It's my favorite sweetener alternative. It's made from figs and raisins, so it's very natural. It tastes just like regular sugar. I buy mine off of Amazon, so I will link it for you. Unflavored gelatin, unsweetened coconut flakes, salt, vanilla extract, and cream cheese. So I mixed up my rolled oat, I blended up my rolled oats and made an oat flour. This is just my little Nutribullet. Now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients in here for the crust. So half of a cup of unsweetened coconut, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, pinch of salt, one third cup light butter melted, and a couple tablespoons of allulose. And then I'm actually going to blend this up again until we have a crust, basically more of a wet mixture. So I pressed the crust into the bottom of a eight by eight baking dish. I'm going to toss this in the refrigerator. I have three tablespoons of boiling water. I'm going to add three teaspoons of unflavored gelatin. And with a fork, just mix that until that gelatin is fully dissolved. 
And then we're just going to set this aside to cool. Now for my strawberries, I did go ahead and dice them up. I'm actually going to cook them on the stove. The recipe says you can add them to your food processor. You basically just want them pureed or smashed. I actually prefer them cooked on the stove. So I'm going to add just a sprinkle of my allulose and then I'm just going to cook these until they're softened on the stove and then smash them up. So for the cheesecake filling, I'll show you. This is what I use to mash up my strawberries, my little meat masher. It works fantastic. So I'm going to add my cooked mashed strawberries to my two blocks of one third less fat cream cheese, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one half of a cup of allulose, and then with your handheld mixer, mix until combined. And then we're adding in our whipped cream and folding that in. And then we're going to add the strawberry mixture right on top of the crust. And then you're going to put your cheesecake in the fridge overnight, two to three hours. I do still have a little mixture left. I'm going to let that set up and you can actually top the cream, the cheesecake with it. So I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. As I mentioned, all of the recipes are on my website. I will link my website at the top of the description box. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come join our free, amazing, supportive Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.